Okay, let's go to the Q and A. There's a question in the chat that says, hello, will the Qi coil technology get rid of parasites? I try to be very careful on how we answer these type of questions. But as I said last week, you have the capacity to transform uh, your health. You have the capacity to transform your health in the most powerful way by incorporating information within your information field. So with the technology, the technology does put the necessary resonance and uh, connection to vibration that allows you the opportunity to heal your body of such distortions. As I said last week and the week before that, the healing begins and ends with your body. Okay? So for all the distortions, I, don't, I like to call it distortions instead of dis-ease or diseases, uh, it requires uh, connections to leveraging such technology, whether you take a pill, whether you take uh, nutrients or vitamins or supplements, you're just putting information into the body and the body will acclimate to that information. So one of the challenges a lot of times, and I don't wanna go into too much depth, when you're taking vitamins, you're creating that resonance, you're creating that connection, right? That bridge between you believe in this pills works or you believe in this drug works, that is what the vibration that is created for you is manifesting from. So the, the more you pop it, the more you're connected, the more you're in tune with it, the more you need it, the more your body is going to need that connection. So the body is only making a connection to it. And so this technology says, well, what if we just put the information regarding a healthy body as it relates to parasites, what happens to the body? body does miraculous things, the body transforms, and that is consistent. You can call it a miracle, you can call it you know, regressions, you can call it whatever you want to call it subjectively, but the body has the capacity to heal itself naturally and safely, right? So uh, as we begin today, uh, I wanted to take us on a journey. So I just completed uh, my book. Uh, it's the second book. I wrote a book with David, but this time I wrote a book about spiritual transformation. And this book is very critical. So uh, I recommend you guys get a copy of the book and we're going to be leveraging the book with the technology. So the book is about transforming you, transforming your community, transforming your family as it reflects to you. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and play a uh, little uh, audio <laughs> uh, commercial, as you may call it, uh, and then the first chapter of the book. And then I'm going to bring uh, my co-panelist, Dave um, uh, Richard, in today. And Richard and I are going to pretty much collaborate, and he's going to share his testimony with me, because he's, he's been on a journey with me in the last couple of weeks. And he's going to share what has happened, what has transpired in leveraging the technology and leveraging some of the wisdom I have to share with them. Right? I think we all have have great gifts and it's important that we learn to share these gifts as a community and be able to empower one another so i'm excited about that and so rachel will be joining us and rachel call me with some great testimony and i'll get excited uh, i'm just as excited for him as he is for himself and i think that is critical and important to have somebody in your life that wants the best for you like they want it for themselves and that is true empowerment that is true power that is true love that we all need to resonate with so as uh, um, Richard find his way to the online, I'm still waiting to see if he's joined yet. He still hasn't joined, but when he joined, I will make sure I add him. But um, in the meantime, I'm gonna play, uh, I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna play uh, an audio file of the ebook. This ebook, uh, I was inspired decades ago to write, uh, is multiple different downloads. And these are information from, you know, from higher aspects of myself, if you want to call that. And I think this technology, other technology, I've really refined that connection. And so I'm able to sharpen and connect more and be able to align with what my higher self is saying as it relates to this uh, reality as in connection to other reality. So I've been excited about how to maximize my effort as it relates to developing my spiritual growth. So this, this book is all about guiding you through that process. So it gives actionable wisdom, as I like to say, what to do in the morning, what to do in the afternoon, what to do in the evening. And I have 30 chapters, but the first uh, 
series that came that's coming out is only seven and i'll we'll talk about those seven chapters it's going to give a brief description about those seven chapters and i think all of us can relate to this uh the character in the story is my daughter uh she is one she's turning one years old and she has inspired me in ways to renew my thinking uh, almost like a childlike and we spend so much time chasing things chasing people chasing you know, money, abundance, all these different things that we forget to live in the moment and watching her live in the moment and how she is so attentive to learning. And oh my God, it's so beautiful the way she stares at you when she's trying to read your lips and understand how you were speaking, or articulating words. And it just inspires me. And I've missed that my whole entire life. I've never seen any other human being so aggressive about learning. And so that has inspired me to put her into the book. And so the book becomes a story of transformation. She is, you know, she starts out as a fox and she transformed into a human form and going through the different experiences and uh, overcoming all the different obstacles and so forth. And I will be leveraging this technology in order to maximize your success as you choose to go through those journey yourself. All right. So that being said, uh, let me go ahead and play the intro to the book. And, and then I'll play the first chapter and then we'll begin with uh, Richard and then we're going to go into actually the application today. We're going to be looking at the application itself, logging online and seeing how to use the, the, the chi frequency. So we're going to be applying the chapter one of the book. So we're going to look at, we're going to listen to chapter one of the book and see what is it about uh, this, uh, this story that is inspiring and how can I leverage the story into my own personal journey? And then what frequencies can I align with that will allow me to you know, uh, guide myself and support myself and love myself and encourage myself to be able to do that further. All right? So let's go ahead and play for you. Hopefully you can hear it. In a world filled with questions and a longing for deeper meaning, one book offers a transformative journey to enlightenment. Spiritual evolution, a journey for everyone, is a must-have guide towards a loving and higher spiritual life. Meet Kael, the young and curious fox, who embarks on an extraordinary adventure guided by the wise owl, Mr. G. Chapter 1. The Ignorant Fox and the Wise Owl Step into an enchanting forest where young Kael meets Mr. G, the wise owl. Discover the profound lesson that recognizing ignorance is the gateway to true wisdom. Embark on Kael's thrilling journey, filled with magical encounters and life-changing lessons. This chapter will leave you eager to embrace your own quest for knowledge and growth. Chapter 2. Tools for Conscious Evolution Join Kael as she uncovers powerful tools for personal growth from Mr. G. Dive into practical techniques for self-awareness, mindfulness, and gratitude that you can seamlessly integrate into your daily life. Feel the excitement of transformation as you elevate your spiritual journey with these actionable steps. Chapter 3. The Dance of Physicality and Spirituality Explore the mesmerizing balance between the physical and spiritual realms. Learn to harmonize these aspects of life through simple yet profound daily practices. This chapter will captivate you with its promise of fulfillment and enlightenment, making every moment a step towards a higher self. Chapter 4. The Potential Expression of a Creator Witness Kael's magical transformation as she journeys to the far north to meet Queen Shade, the wise phoenix. Uncover the secrets of creative expression and learn to set clear intentions and manifest your deepest desires. This chapter will empower you to harness your creative power and leave you longing to unlock your full potential. Chapter 5. Humanity. Who we are collectively. Feel the warmth of human connection as Kael, now human, navigates the joys and challenges of her new life with the loving couple, Gigi and Pawpaw. This chapter highlights the power of love, compassion, and unity. Experience the inspiration of Kael's journey of self-discovery and learn to embrace our interconnectedness and contribute to the collective good. Chapter 6. Our Creation Story the thought that taught the thoughts. 
embark on a cosmic journey with Kaele as Mr. G unveils the creation story, exploring the genesis of existence and the nature of divine thought. Learn how to become a co-creator by setting clear intentions, visualizing your desires, and reflecting on your actions. This chapter will ignite your sense of purpose and infinite potential. Chapter 7. The Scientific Principles of God, the All. Discover the fascinating intersection of science and spirituality. Mr. G explains scientific principles like the observer effect, quantum entanglement, and the holographic universe, showing how they align with spiritual teachings. This chapter will captivate you with the profound connections between science and spirituality, enhancing your understanding of the universe and your place within it. Spiritual Evolution, A Journey for Everyone by Josie Galicia, affectionately known as Mr. G, is more than just a book. It's a guide to transforming your life. Each chapter offers thrilling lessons and practical tools to help you navigate your spiritual journey. Whether you're seeking wisdom, personal growth, or a deeper connection to the universe, this book provides the insights you need to evolve into your best self. Don't miss out on this transformative journey. Start your evolution today. So that is the intro of the book. Uh, so there are several different chapters, as I said, there's about 30 chapters. And it addresses a lot of the downloads, the wisdom that I've inquired over the time as I've gone through different transformational processes uh, from you know, my connection through meditation, my connection through mindfulness, my connection through understanding the struggles and the trials and tribulations. You know, so sometimes our trials and tribulations teaches us lessons and wisdom. And all of that as uh, is, is been a sitting for a long time because I've just been taking notes and just um, uh, journaling and different things like that. But now I'm able to express that outward. And so I wanted to share that because people are calling me from all around the world. And I wanted to be more impactful because I, I'm so busy. Sometimes it's very difficult and with family life, it becomes even more difficult with that. So I wanted to give tools and resources that are actionable, simple. Remember, wisdom must come to you through backward simplexity. It must be simple for you to understand, not over you. But, but actually connecting to you. So this book tries to do that with you and connect with you. However, this book is very powerful when it comes to leveraging uh, the chi core. The chi core is going to be a tool of transformation. It's not a reactive tool to say, let's fix this illness or fix that, fix that illness. Because sometimes illness are stemming from sp spiritual, physical, mental, emotional, all those different bodies may be dealing with some underlying conditions. And sometimes it's beyond your comprehension. And so looking at everything holistically, transforming yourself holistically is going to be the key to supporting you. So let's see if, uh, if Richard is on. Richard, if you can raise your hand so I can, oh, Richard is on. I'm going to allow Richard to join as a panelist, okay? I'm going to promote. So Richard and I have been going through the journey. I know you guys heard Richard last, oh, was it last week or week before last? Richard, Richard got on my case, which was cool. Uh, I love it. And he says, listen, sir, I, I reached out to you. You didn't reach out to me. And what is going on? So Richard and I have been in constant contact. I wanted to bring Richard on. So Richard now has become officially like an uncle. So Rich and I are officially family. And that's what I like to do when I, I connect with people is more than just uh, client and patient and all this different. And Richard is true family and I'm excited to be part of his life and he, and he in my life as well. Rachel, welcome. How are you doing today? Good, sir. Uh, can't hear you. Uh, on mute. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Can you hear me? Uh, awesome. I can hear you. You sound amazing. How you look? How you doing today? Struggling a little bit with uh, congestion, but other than that, good. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So I, I wanted to bring you on, Richard, because I know we've been through this journey for the last two weeks, and I would just like everybody out there to hear your journey. Uh, I know you mentioned you wanted a new lungs. We wanted to look at more than just the lungs. We wanted to look at holistically what is necessary to transform you and ultimately the lungs will align. And so just wanted to go back and forth, maybe ask some Q&As. Um, how you been? How you doing? How the chi core working for you? What are some of the synchronicity you have seen? And 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 then advice you can give those out there that are struggling in order to find whether it's health, whether it's wealth, whatever it is in that life that they're searching for. Okay, so I think one of the things that was most helpful was your guidance saying when I said I had five cancers and a heart attack, and you said. Um, 
yeah, you need to stop hating yourself and being so you know, trashing yourself. And I had to think about that. I go, yeah, I, that doesn't sound right, but um, maybe there's something to that. Yeah. And uh, so I did a lot of reflecting on that. And you also dropped a word on me and said, I want you to think about this word and cantankerous. And then I thought, okay, so do I need to own that? Am I a cantankerous person? Well, maybe I am. And uh, actually, when I was reading the definition, it says, many people become cantankerous when they have challenging health issues. I thought, well, that, that, that's possible. I could be contributing to it, but I want to be a loving person. I want to be a joyful person. I don't want to be a cantankerous person. I don't want to, you know, it's not who I want to be. It doesn't mean that's who I am, but that's not who I want to be. Okay, so... Absolutely. It's, um, so what you said to me was, well, maybe rather than trying to heal your lungs straight out with working on lung vibrations, you need to work on love vibrations and love yourself a little more. So I thought, okay, that's an interesting approach, not something I would have normally thought of, but it certainly made sense to me. And um, so then I started pumping the love vibrations. So at night, instead of listening to the lung vibrations to try to make the lungs do better while I'm sleeping, I'm listening to love vibrations. And where did that take me? Well, interestingly enough, where that took me was where I wanted to go, but I didn't know that that's where I was going to go. Uh, so I told Jossie that um, several things happened. Like, I had a moment where I was standing at my sink washing dishes. Well, I wasn't going to wash dishes. I, I, uh, I can only stand for about normally five minutes at a time, max. Um, and I, you know, my lungs just say, you need to sit down before you fall down. So I'm at my sink. I just finished dinner. And I wanted to drop them in the sink. And, and I stand there and I said, no, I think I'm going to wash these dishes. And my my body goes, I don't think so. And I go, yeah, I think so. And I just stood there for a moment. And I reflected on why do I think I need to sit down? Said, Am I struggling that much? Is it possible I can stand here? And as I talked to myself, I realized I could. Actually, I stood there for 10 minutes. I washed all the dishes in the sink. And then I took my time and went and sat down. I wasn't out of breath at all. So what was interesting about that was, as I was washing the dishes, I was so into washing the dishes, I didn't think at all about my breathing. I didn't think about anything. And I felt, wow, I was totally normal. I could have been doing anything at that time. I'm not thinking about my lungs. I'm not thinking about, I can't breathe. And okay, so that was a moment. And I had several moments since then. And I told Jossie, as you see, I'm on oxygen 24-7. So for the last three days, uh, I'm, I also live a circadian life. So I go out in the morning. In my background, you'll see the moon. And I, that's a picture I took from one of my morning ventures. Is the moon uh, going down. And uh, anyway, so I come in by 10, about 10.30 because it gets too hot. You're out in moisture. I'm in Maryland. And yesterday it was 104 in D.C. and it was like 97 here. So, but I'm trying to live a circadian life because I do a lot better that way. And now when I go outside, I'm so bold, I hang my oxygen cannula on my mailbox. It's got the little hooks for dropping the newspaper. I hang it, just walk out into my yard with my chair and sit down without any oxygen. I've done that for three days in a row. I'm not walking around and moving, so I'm not expending a lot of oxygen. But yeah, I got comfortable being without my oxygen. All right, so that I think was interesting. And the confidence that I could do that. So two days ago, I was meditating. And I don't remember the frequency that I was listening to. I think it was actually Solfeggio. And in that meditation, I went back to my birth. And I remember my mother telling me about my birth, that I was a preemie. I was born on June 30th, but I was supposed to be born like July 10th. 
And she told me what a struggle it was, the birth and all that. And so in this meditation, I didn't meditate on this, but this is what happened. All of a sudden, I see my, my birth. I see myself as a baby. And I'm very small. Remember, I was a premature baby. And all of a sudden, as I'm looking at this premature weak child, it becomes very robust. The baby, the mass starts to increase in size. Instead of looking scrawny and weak, it looks strong. I said, wow, look at that. Maybe I'm not so weak after all. So when I woke up from that meditation, I had a different mentality. I felt like I'm much stronger than I thought that I was. I have a very strong body. I'm a, why am I so afraid of everything? Why am I intimidated? There's no reason. I'm strong. I've been been sold a bill of goods that I was weak and frail and all that. That's not true. Anyway, so those are some of the insights that I've had. Doesn't mean I'm beyond everything, but I'm making progress. And I, I'm feeling very positive about the direction that I'm making. So I'll give Rich a, a break to catch his breath, but one of the fascinating things when Rich uh, experienced some of those uh, synchronistic uh, manifestation, he would call me and we would connect. And, and I think that's why we need each other. We, we connect and and we we look at a different avenue, a different perspective. One of the things I wanted Richard to recognize in his life is that there's a pattern. There's a pattern from the time he was born uh, to now. He's been having this resist and this consistent resistance of health, right? And, and that's a theme in his life. And I think all of us have our own individual theme from lack of love, lack of relationship, constructive relationship with families, uh, financial struggles, all these different things are happening, but it becomes a consistent thing. One of the things I've been telling and sharing with Richard and, and uh, supporting him in, in this journey is it begins and ends with you. So we have to start and accept uh, where we are. So one of the things I shared with Richard was you know, to look up the word contagious, right? And I remember when we had a conversation here recently, Richard, Richard was like, but it's nothing positive about the word. I said, great, right? Awesome, right? There's nothing positive about the word. And that can correlate to your life, you know, Sometimes in your life, it's hard to see what is good, what is happening positively in your life, right? It's hard to see the blessings and, and the gift that the divine has given you because you're so busy being consumed with the distortion. So when you look at everything in life, this is a fact, it is dual. It's a duality perspective, right? And you only see 0.000000000000001% of what is actually true about that thing or that person, right? And so when you look at the word contagious, one of the things is I wanted Richard to understand is the, the, the idea of uh, synchronistic connection to people. And so contagious is a reactive word. It's not a bad word it's a reactive words to your environment so your environmental conditioning calls you to act out because you'll become overwhelmed you'll subdue yourself to the the nature of that environment and so understanding that is acceptance to say you know something i take my ownership i take responsibility for where i am in this place right now and all of the environmental condition that's impacting it so if somebody come up to you and you say like, you got one more time to say something to me i'm gonna cuss you your mama and your whole generation out that is okay because that's where you are so the goal is to understand that this is what i'm reflecting so therefore this is what i'm resonating at and this is what i'm vibrating at see when we when we ignore our shadows right we, we ignore the true nature of where we need to begin so a lot of people are dismissive and says, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to, I don't want somebody to call me contagious. And then they're defended and then they're, they're, they're trying to justify, they use deductive rationalizing and all these different things. But when you don't accept it, it perpetuates because that which you resist will perpetuate, right? Or will persist. So you don't want that persistence of those things. So that's where Richard, when we, when we look at everything, because we truly believe that love conquers all. Right. And that lo love is the, the ultimate connection, because in order for the divine to create, he had to self love. So he had to reflect that self love back to himself because he wanted to understand or it wanted to understand aspect of itself. So that was out of love. So we were birthed out of love. Right. And everything else is a reflection, a manifestation of all the potential of how that love 
can interact with itself, right? And so understanding that dynamic is so critical. So Richard is now going through that journey as I've gone through that journey, as I've continued to go through that journey, is that understanding that everything has positive and negative is what you choose to accept in that moment that would determine whether it persists or whether it actually transforms. And our goal here is to empower everybody to take control back of your existence, right? And I'm here to tell all of you out there, right? And I'm looking at you guys, all of you out there, there are blessings happening in your life. That is an absolute fact. You cannot exist without the blessing. That sperm, <laughs> the trials and tribulations that sperm had to go through, if you try to go through that in the real world, you're not gonna make it. So one sperm overcame one of the greatest obstacle can ever be imagined, right? And it conquered, right? So to create you. So you came from the potential of overcoming. And so understanding that should give you this excitement, like, look, I can overcome anything as long as I begin to see what is the value in what I'm doing right now. So all of you out there, look around you and see the blessing. See the smallest blessing and feed that. Be that, give it love, support that. Let that be what feeds back to you and tune out everything. And I think that's what Richard is doing a lot of because, and I'll share this, Richard, I hope you don't mind about his backstory. When Richard was telling me his backstory, all I heard was lack of love of Richard himself. He mentioned everybody else that was amazing in his life, his brother, and everybody was amazing. His wife was amazing, but he never saw what was amazing about him. And, it, and it's very difficult if I was to say, Richard, describe all the amazing things that you have done as it relates to those people. It's, it's hard to really narrow that down, right? And Richard is a scholar. Got a, got, was it how many PhD? One PhD, Richard? How many got a PhD, right? I have a bachelor's in biology mm -hmm. with a minor in health, a master's in health with a minor in biology, an education specialist in, in health, and a PhD in biomedical health. Guys, did you hear that? Health. <laughs> so that which he resists is that which he is profoundly knowledgeable about. But yet, he doesn't have any of his fingers he has to control it. See, it's not about controlling all the knowledge, right? It's about experiencing the knowledge. So all the knowledge that he has acquired doesn't mean you're going to live a healthy life. Because I don't know if you guys know the average life expectancy of doctors, actually surgeons, like 56 to 60 because of stress and all these different things that's happened. So just because you're in that field does not make it so for you to be able to in, you know, evolve you in, in a healthy way all the time. So understanding and being grateful, gratitude and acceptance is so critical for where you are right now. I love the fact that Richard goes outside, appreciate nature. All those things matter. Find the smallest things that matter. Like, like for us, Richard, breath, we're taking for granted, right? For you, yeah, yeah. you it do. is something you are reaching for. You're like, I need some more. And everybody is just like, like it's nothing. And then the, the smoking and doing all of a sudden, there's nothing wrong with that, right? And you need to understand that sometimes there's somebody else that will that will trade places with you because you have an amazing life is that acceptance of that life, right? And so before I uh, allow Richard to add anything else you'd like to add, I wanted to play chapter one, right? Because I think chapter one of the book is critical because we are dismissive of our ignorance. As I said previously that 99.9999999999% of your experience, according to what source have in, in shown me, is out of ignorance, right? You do not know all those aspects of reality, right? All you know is 0 0.0000000001, always going to infinite. So if you know that is all you know, right? At the end of the day, you don't know nothing, right? So operating from a place of ignorance allows you to open your heart and open your mind to learning and learning from anyone, right? It doesn't matter if it's a child, doesn't matter uh, what race or nationality, because I promise you guys out there, the divine will send you somebody that you are racist against, that you're prejudiced against, that you're sexist against, that you don't like. You, you might see some kids in the street, although some bad kids, and one of them are necessary to transform you. You never know who or what the universe is going to use to inspire you or transform you. This is why 
you must embrace your ignorance in order to achieve wisdom. And that wisdom must be actionable and applicable. So again, how does this technology work? Because this technology is a path of least resistance. If I want to gain wisdom, which is spiritual wisdom or physical wisdom or being grounded, I can run the necessary frequency that will allow me to begin to resonate. And then like Richard was sharing, synchronicity will begin to manifest. For example, like he's going inside and begin to recognize, oh, from birth, there's been a theme. Uh, or I can now, I, I can stand in front of my sink and all this time I've been operating out of fear that I can't and here I can and I could have done it a lot longer. So all of these things are empowering. I need all of us to understand that that power begins and ends with us, but we do need a community, all right? So Rich, I'll, I'll allow you to respond while I get to the audio. So this is chapter one of the book, uh, Operating from Ignorance. So this is a fox going through the, the, the learning phases, the learning process. And we are going to next, after Rich and I collaborate a little bit more, we're going to go online and we're going to look for frequencies that will allow us with this book to help us grow through this wisdom. All right. So Richard, is there anything you'd like to add while I pull this up? Uh, I would just say on, on more than one occasion, when I had the experience at the sink washing dishes, I've had that experience like two or three times when I'm brushing my teeth, um, where I feel like, oh, I don't have the energy to brush my teeth. I can't stand here. I can't breathe. And I say to myself, well, let's try. And once I get into it, once my mind shifts and it shifts away from struggling to breathe and it focuses on the activity, whether it's the washing the dishes or the brushing, then all of a sudden I'm in a different world. It's like I'm not suffering. I'm not experiencing any of that problem. And I'm, I'm normal. And afterwards they go, wow, how did I do that? How did that just happen? How did I have the energy to stand there when a, a few minutes ago I was struggling? So apparently we can do a shift, like a 180 degree shift, just like that. Um, I even, I, I've wondered in that state whether I could just walk around my house all day without oxygen and I would be okay. I feel like I could. I feel like I could probably do that. I don't know how I would test that out, but yeah, I mean, in that moment, I'm not struggling. I'm not even thinking about it. And here's the problem. Once you start to struggle, you yeah. think about, oh, this is terrible. When's it going to stop? When's it going to stop? And the more you think about it, the worse it gets, right? So you yeah, need to yeah. do the mind shift out of that, okay? So I haven't figured that one out yet. That's what I'm <laughs> So let, let's see if we can support that a little bit. So the creative process has started, and this way you trust synchronicity, right? Yeah. So what, when, who, where, why, that's your responsibility. That's your business. How is none of your business. How things come about is none of your business. Stop thinking you know how something happened. So even for myself, I struggle with that because the how is when we want control. And when we start to control, we create a subjective perspective. So let go of the how things happen. So what Richard now has done is create the intention. I can see myself doing this. And that's exciting because what is going to happen, he will begin to see synchronistic movement. Uh, something's going to happen where he might have a guest come over and all of a sudden, He's in a conversation and there's no oxygen. He realized I just sat there for two hours with no oxygen. Or he might see something outside that intrigues him and he will go outside chasing something. And like, how did I get here? So I've seen crazy things happen when synchronicity take over. I've seen people and, and they were not shared. I'm talking about scholars, people with PhDs and in the medical field actually shift, right? And they didn't have nobody to explain that to them. They would actually shift from one moment to another and they'll they find themselves somewhere else completely. And I said, I've never shared this with anybody, uh, Josie. Why did, how did that happen? I found myself walking and all of a sudden I was like 10 miles away. I said, that is part of that synchronistic shift because we're constantly shifting when our vibration and sometimes those shifts happen greatly. So Richard, look for your shift because one day you're going to wake up and everything that you thought was holding you back is no longer there as an obstacle because you let go of the how. You allow yourself to flow down this river of life and allowing yourself to appreciate and accept every aspect of it, positive, negative, or just perspective and contrast, and just love yourself in the journey. And no matter what happens, even when you falter, take a deep breath, reset, I know when I say deep breath, no pun intended. 
intended, but take a deep breath and says, this is life and I accept everything aspect of it. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and play the first chapter about ignorance. And I think all of us needs to begin. And so Richard, make sure, please let me know if you can hear it. And then uh, we'll go from chapter there. One, the ignorant fox and the wise owl. Once upon a time in a lush forest filled with vibrant colors and the songs of chirping birds, there lived a young fox named Kyle. Kyle was born with a blank canvas, her mind untouched by the world's knowledge, ready to be painted with the hues of life's experiences. One day while wandering through the forest, Kyle came across a wise old owl named Mr. G, who sat perched high on a branch, Observing the world with keen eyes, Mr. G had lived for many years and had seen the forest change through countless seasons. His wisdom was revered by all the creatures in the forest. Mr. G, Kyle called out, I want to be wise like you. Teach me the secrets of the forest. Mr. G looked down at Kale with a gentle gaze. Wisdom begins with the recognition of one's ignorance, he replied. To become wise, you must first acknowledge what you do not know and be willing to learn. Kyle nodded eagerly, though she didn't quite understand. But I already know many things. I am fast, clever, and can find food anywhere. Knowing many things is different from understanding them deeply, Mr. G explained. Let me tell you a story. And so Mr. G began to share tales of the forest. In our forest, there is a stream that flows clear and pure, nurturing all the creatures that drink from it. Long ago, a group of animals believed they understood the stream's source. They built their homes close by, thinking they would have water forever. But one summer, the stream dried up, and the animals faced a great thirst. They had never explored where the stream truly came from or how it was fed by underground springs and rain. They mistook their initial impressions for complete truths and suffered because of it. Kyle listened, beginning to see the lesson. So to be wise, I must explore and understand the world more deeply. Exactly, Mr. G hooted. Ignorance is not a flaw, but an opportunity. Embrace it as the start of your journey towards wisdom. Seek out new experiences, ask questions, and learn from the world around you. Inspired by Mr. G's words, Kyle decided to embark on a journey through the forest. She ventured into unknown parts, met different animals, and learned about their ways of life. She questioned what she saw and sought to understand the deeper truths behind her observations. Kyle's journey took her to a clearing where she met a family of deer who taught her about the importance of community and support. They shared stories of how they navigated the forest's challenges together, always looking out for one another. This taught Kyle about the power of societal influence and the importance of a supportive community. As Kyle continued her travels, she came across a group of squirrels who were busy gathering acorns. They explained that their elders had always emphasized the importance of preparation and foresight. Kyle learned that their education focused not just on what to think, but on how to think critically and creatively, encouraging curiosity and problem solving. One day, Kyle stumbled upon a majestic tree with a hollow trunk where an old tortoise named Terence resided. Terence spoke of the pressures he faced from his family to follow a certain path, but he found true happiness in pursuing his passion for storytelling. From Terence, Kyle learned to embrace her unique talents and follow her true calling, rather than succumbing to societal expectations. Through her journey, Kyle began to transform her ignorance into wisdom. She learned that the trees communicated through their roots, that the bees danced to show their hive mates where flowers bloomed, and that even the smallest stream was part of a vast interconnected system. She discovered the power of gratitude, appreciating the simple joys in life and understanding that true success was not measured by material wealth, but by the richness of one's experiences and relationships. To integrate her newfound wisdom into daily life, Kyle adopted several daily applications. One morning mindfulness routine, every morning, Kyle sat quietly, focusing on her breathing and setting an intention for the day. This helped her start the day with clarity and purpose. Two, gratitude journal. Each evening, Kyle wrote down three things she was grateful for. Reflecting on these moments contributed to her overall well-being and happiness. Three, active compassion practice. Kyle performed one act of kindness daily, 
whether it was helping a fellow animal or offering a word of encouragement. This practice deepened her sense of connection and empathy. Four, weekly knowledge expansion. Kale dedicated 30 minutes each week to explore a new subject or skill, such as learning about different plants or understanding the weather patterns. This kept her mind sharp and curious. Five, reflection time. At the end of each day, Kyle spent 10 minutes reflecting on her thoughts and actions. She noted any patterns and considered adjustments to align more closely with her true self and higher purpose. When Kyle returned to Mr. G, she was no longer the same naive fox. She was wiser, more curious, and always eager to learn more. Mr. G welcomed her back with a proud smile. Kyle, you have begun to walk the path of wisdom. Remember, it is a journey that never truly ends. Keep seeking, keep questioning, and let your ignorance lead you to new heights of understanding. From that day forward, Kyle continued to grow in wisdom, always remembering the wise owl's words and the importance of embracing ignorance as the beginning of her magnificent journey. Moral of the story, recognize your ignorance and transform it into wisdom by continuously seeking knowledge and understanding. True wisdom comes from exploring the world deeply, questioning societal influences, embracing your unique talents, and being open to learning from every experience. Integrate this wisdom into your daily life through mindfulness, gratitude, compassion, and continuous learning. Rich, what do you think? I think it's I think it's really good. I think it's inspirational. Yeah, I like it. So, <laughs> so you talked about actionable wisdom when we last spoke. And you said, what is the first step? What is the second step? Because everybody's asking me the same question. So I wanted to make sure that each chapter yeah. goes over um, these steps with you. So that way you can know exactly what small step can I take, uh, whether it's acts of kindness, uh, showing compassion and love or whatever else. You know, those are the things you journal. Like a gratitude, right. yeah, like a, yeah, a gratitude exactly, journey. yeah, the gratitude. Because as I said previously, it's looking for the things around you that are blessings rather than looking at the things around you that you consider a curse. Because that's your definition. And if you see anything as a curse, you should be asking yourself, "That is me. That is how I'm seeing the world. So therefore, that's how I'm vibrating." If you see somebody you don't like, that is how you're vibrating as it relates to that person. You have to ask yourself, "Am I acting in compassion? Am I acting in love?" And how can I change this? What can I do? And, and especially at the end of the day, when we're reflecting, I do a lot of reflection. I, and I say this even to my students, 40% of your day should be spent learning, right? That's understanding. 20% should be spent doing and 40% should be spent reflecting because reflecting is how we develop those connections. So what I wanna do next, I wanna share the actual app online and so we can see well mr g I've, I've read the book book is cool and all i've read multiple different books in fact i just love reading i read everything but are you absorbing what you're reading are you living are you a living testimony of what you're reading don't just read for knowledge sake to regurgitate it read to embody it so you become a living testimony of it rather than just an expression of it right or through words because remember we talked about that last week words are a truth it's not the truth, the experience. So when people are around you, they're going to experience your truth. They're going to experience the aspect of you that is the truth. So you can't fake that. That's the unconscious. That's the higher aspect of yourself. So again, this is the guide. And there's several different chapters. I think one of the key chapters that later in the book that was so critical because I had several individuals ask me this question, how do I deal with the conflict or the conflicting wisdom of spirituality, trying to seek that because I feel that within myself versus religion. I, I, I go to a church, I belong to a church, and I feel like if I walk this path, I'm actually challenging that, right? So we ad I address that. And then we also have individuals that says, well, my dad and mom are scientists, they are doctors, and seeing is believing, right? So I also address that. That reality is so much more than seeing. And I give some actionable wisdom that you can use to understand. So I try to make sure I address the depth of our understanding of things in the most simplistic way. So you take that knowledge and it becomes yours. This is not Mr. G or Josie's knowledge. This knowledge has been given to me in a way where I can share with you, take it, make it your own, transform it, and then share it. Because I have had students that have done this. They've taken something I've taught and made it better, right? We all have unique gifts. So let's come together as a community and bring those gifts out. Um, you know, um, 
in a way that I can actually express a uh, positive, constructive way. Richie, have something you want to share? So let me go ahead and share my screen now. I'm going to share the app because I know last week we had some individuals that mentioned they could not have, they don't have access to the app. All right. Also, one thing I want to share with others, one of my journey that I had to learn to overcome is that uh, as a child was diagnosed as having intellectual disability, I was supposed, I was labeled as being mentally retarded, right? I've been labeled as having all the different distortions, uh, uh, autism. I do have those things, but those things have actually allowed me to connect deeper and richer as uh, in my experiences. But those those things that we call distortions or negativity or uh, things that we want to refine, those are things that can allow us to see a different aspect of ourselves. And one of the things that my autism have taught me is that when when I was younger, even as as a, as an adult, sometimes I find myself rocking, right? I'll find myself even doing this sometimes. And the reason I do that is because I'm trying to either go with the flow or something. I find something and I'm moving, all of a sudden the flow changes and it, it, it agitates me. So I want to go with the flow. And then sometimes I'm trying to slow things down. I need to slow things down because I see things in, in, in slow motion and I'm used to seeing things in slow motion. So when everything is coming to me, I'm trying to find a way to see it because it all becomes fragmented. So I'm moving, so sometimes I'm speeding them up, sometimes I'm slowing it down, depends on my movement. A lot of times I'm actually trying to actually speed things up as well because I'm moving so fast that I'm trying to make sure I'm collectively connecting with as much detail as possible. So all these different distortions is what you see here. I'm not perfect, I don't claim to be. I No one is above me, no one is beneath me. We're all here on this journey together. And so remember, we all have our struggle, we all have our trials and tribulations. One of my greatest struggles, my brain shuts off and shuts in. It just goes off and off uh, in real time. I can be talking to you as God, and then all of a sudden it come back. So I had to train myself to navigate through that process as well. So understanding who I am and accepting who I am and loving who I am from where I am, I'm able to navigate. And people will come up to me and says, you're the smartest man here. I said, no, I'm not. I'm just the one open to learning here the most. And that is the difference between them. Right? So I know we have some, some questions. We'll get to the question. I just want to go online really quick. And I'm going to share my screen. And we're going to look at the applications. So Chi Life has done an amazing job because they were having some issues in interacting with the, the, the iStore or Apple Store, whatever you want to call it, store. <laughs> okay. So... I'm an Android person, so you can see I'm, I have an iPhone and Android, but my first love is Android. Oh, sorry I said that. <laughs> so anyway, um, they have created an online app that you can go on, and this is the app that everybody have access to, your username and password. So if you want to type in, it is members.chicoil.com, right? and you will use your username and login information to log in. So again, that's members.chicoil.com. Dot com. Okay. And when you log in, you will come to this screen and every frequency that you have purchased, you will see here, right? So if you purchase a frequency, it should be in alignment with, uh, like, for example, I see this one right here, manifesting with job, it is locked. So if it's locked, that means it has not been purchased. So one of the things you want to do, you want to look at frequencies that you think or you believe will help you on your journey. Not just getting all the frequency and just have it for the purpose of having, right? You want to see how it's going to guide you through the journey. So, one of my things I'm going to I'm, I'm going to do when I get into this app, this is what I do to help me on my journey. So, if I wake up in the morning and say, "Today I want to be mindful," right? So, I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to type in mindfulness. Yeah, mindful. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I type that wrong. Let me see. Fine. Let me type. Here we go. It's not. I mean, so let's see. Type in mine. Let's see what comes up with mine. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So some words that didn't come up, mine came up. So I now see their uh, fear. And I can click on, let me see if I can click on that. I don't know if it's going to give me access here. 
it has the frequency for the right frequency for dealing with emotions and mental state. All right. We'll go back. Mind and emotions, mind and emotions, unconscious mind. And then they have other albums that aligns with mindfulness. And you can see it's a lot of them listed. And so you hit two. Okay. And so let me, I believe I'm not logged in. Let me log in. Sorry. So we can see it. Okay. So I'm going to log in. So when I go in here now, I can see those frequencies that I have connection to are unlocked. There are still some locked, all right? And so I can hit the mind expansion and it gives you a brief description. And then you can run the frequency. And then you can also create a playlist from online. You can just say, create a playlist here and add it to your playlist. So I'm gonna create a playlist and I can call it mental state, okay? Now I'm going to hit create. So now I have a playlist for my mental state. And then I will go back and go through the rest of the frequencies and see which others that aligns with me. And all right, I'm going to go back here and try typing mental. There we go. You can see all the different frequencies. There's also brain, there's success and focus on the job. So there are so many different frequencies. You have to find out exactly what aligns with you. And I, right now, wisdom is aligned with me. So I will click on the wisdom. It will give me description, cultivate what is rare in today's world, character, uh, character in book, and, and down, down with spirit, and involve, fearless determination, care, understanding of others, willingness to listen, physical, mental, emotional, toughness, ability. So you can read that for yourself and see if that synchronizes with you. And when I read it, I feel like, ah, this is something I really need to work on or something I need to synchronize with. I'm going to go straight here and just add it to my playlist for mental, and mental is going to be listed there. And I click that and hit add. Now I have that playlist and that playlist I can use any device, anytime, anywhere to be able to get that playlist into my hands to be able to run that frequency. I can listen to it. I can have the handheld devices, uh, the aura coil, uh, the S coil, or whatever else around me to be able to run those frequencies uh, as well. So, cause it's online now. Okay. So this is what the device is. So you do, you are able to create a playlist for anything. So let's say health. So let's go ahead, Richard, we're typing lungs. All right. So use one word instead of lungs plural, just use lung without the plural because sometimes it may just cancel out some other options. So now you can see lung and respiratory. Uh, those are locked, but I see a lot of the right frequency for lungs are available to me. Lungs infection, lung diseases and whatever. So I will click that and see what is that about. One of the great thing is um, I can now create playlists for all of them, I can just click these three dots and add it to uh, a new playlist and just type lungs from there. Right. Or I can say lungs, you know, it depends on your perspective on your lung. And now I have a playlist for lung. And that is the process. And now to the left, whenever you log in, you'll see all of your playlists to the left. So if you come in, you just want to focus on your playlist. It's right there on the left side, right there on the on the far left. Here. And they also have all the frequency. They have the freebie. They have the right frequency. They have the quantum. So all of them are in one central location. And you can go through the right collection. You can look at it and see which one resonates with you. And you can align with it. Which, you know, if you want to support your family, kids, they have the frequency to run. A lot of times with the family, I will say you want a device where you can run in the background like the oil coil because that will allow you to merge your, all your family into those frequencies and make a connection with them. Uh, so intestinal, all those different, those are all the different life support frequencies. Um, and you can go to the quantum, you can see all the different quantum listed there. So whatever speaks to you, I call this a synchronicity. You will be on the site all of a sudden something is you'll see you'll hear synchronicity or you hear multiple people talk about chakras okay chakra 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 you may not know what chakras are 
And then you will come here and just click on the chakras. And then you see some frequencies about chakras, right? You click on it and it gives you a description about chakras, improve energy and, and, and vigor and increase feelings of security and safety. So you read that, see how it aligns with you. This is your, this is your tool. This is your powerful access to changing your environment, right? And that's what this is. What environment do I want to be in? Do I want to be in a loving environment? Yes, but I have not loving people around me. Let me go to the device. Let me run a loving frequency. So I'll go back and say, okay, I haven't experienced love this week. It's been a struggle, whatever it is. I need some love in my life. But you know, I don't want to deal with the stress of some people, places, and things. So I'm going to type in love. Hit that. And then all the love frequency is going to come. The right is going to come up first. And then, of course, there's a different frequency. And if you don't understand the frequency, let what speaks to you click on it, right? Um, so balance works. So you might say, I have issues that work. It's right there. You might say, I need to energize my heart. Or it might be uh, romantic issues with significant others. And I'll click on that and then see if that is that. And then inspire romance. So I may not be receiving it, reflecting it, reflecting it back to me. But what happens if I create the resonance? For me, then I'm creating myself to shift so I can align with that. And therefore, the person, place, and thing that I'm trying to be connected with in a loving way uh, will begin and ends with me. So now I begin to become um, on a vibratory level that is loving. And therefore, I begin to align with it. So that's how we use, that's how I use and leverage this tool. Uh, I use a lot of luck because luck is a shifting frequency. So I'll go in here. Uh, luck is not about being lucky. It's about... If I'm resonating and vibrating one way, how do I shift? So I usually run the luck. And this is my to go to. I know Richard had an experience with the luck. <laughs> so uh, luck boost, luck boost two is in there and removing negativity. And, uh, and that begins with you. Bad luck protection. Your mind may still be in the distorted end of I, I have bad luck around me. So run that frequency. Because now you're shifting from bad luck, but make sure you're running the luck. Focus on the luck, not the bad luck. And then, of course, there's good fortune, there's happy thoughts. Focus on, again, those thoughts. Uh, if you feel like ne negative thoughts are coming in consistently, then run the happy thoughts and sit back and enjoy the feeling and observe, you know, uh, the version of you that is trying to, that you're trying to let go of is fighting for you. It's going to be holding, holding up to you tight. You know, I love you. I love you being miserable. I love you being, I love you suffering. Stay with me, right? And you say, no, I have to let you go. I love you though, but I have to let you go, right? And so allow yourself to align with the necessary frequency that is going to change your vibration. And then your vibration will become attractive to other vibration that is light vibration. And that's what the resonance are so important. That's where you have to trust synchronicity, okay? Please. Don't run the frequency because some, someone run the frequency and says, okay, I want romance, but I don't want it with her. Oh my gosh, she's been getting on my nerve. Oh, I've been married to this woman for 40 years. It will, it will be nice to find someone else, right? <laughs> that is not how the device works. <laughs> so don't say I ran the frequency. I didn't find this is right, right? You run the frequency, you shift. And then sometimes it's the person next to you that must align with you. Sometimes it's somebody else that must come in line with you. And sometimes the love has nothing to do with a connection between you and another person on, on that level. It might be there's a connection between you and nature, a loving connection between you and nature, between you and your son, between you and your daughter. You might get that random call and somebody might just call and say, listen, I was thinking about you. Just want to let you know I love you and I appreciate you. I'm one of the, if, if you've ever been on the phone with me, I have some grown men. Never used to say I love you. And they get off the phone with me. <laughs> I love you, man. And then when they don't say it, I'll call them back. Did you hear me? I'll say, I love you, man. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. And they'll hang out because they'll just moan it. Man, I know you heard me. I say, I love you. And then after a while, I'm like, love you too, bro. And they'll hang up, right? There's nothing wrong with saying, I love you. Look, you know, men, we can say we love each other. And women, we can say we love you. We can say we love each other as well. It's important that we speak that into each other's life. So I'm going to stop here. And Richard, I will start with you if you have any question about the website before we go to a question online. Go ahead, on mute, Richard. Yeah, you need it. So um, it looks like it's very usable. Uh, it looks like that when you sign in, whatever 
frequencies that you have purchased on your console, those are the ones that are going to appear, right? Yes, they're going to appear unlocked. Yeah. If you yes, I guess. Okay. Yeah. And then create a playlist. Don't forget to create a playlist so that right. we can ask right. for them for all the frequencies. Yeah, sure. That looks now. You can add as many frequencies as you want to. Let's say love. I want to add 10 frequencies to that playlist. That's not a problem. I can add as many as I want. Absolutely. Unlimited uh, to your playlist. And it would tell you the, the, the length of time your playlist has. And I, and I know some individuals sometimes, you know, I, will, I know running your phone next to you at night can be a challenge. So I will say run it at a distance where you can put your phone, because I know you're using Wi-Fi, but run it where the device is closest to you, but the actual phone is away from you. You want to make sure that that phone is not next to you while you're sleeping or resting. So just just use your judgments and always stay balanced and no judgment to us how something is maybe killing you. You know, take all of that out of your mind and say these are just instruments, these are just tools. I'm so much more than these tools. All right. So let's go to some questions. Ron Oliver. I'm going to join uh join in. How are you doing, Saran? Hey, and um hey, can you show us how to purchase the the unconditional love or do you have to purchase a right whole rife package to purchase that one? Oh, so going online? You want me to yeah. share how to purchase? So if you I'm go trying online, to, to look go through where that is, and I'd love to purchase just that one or two or three, but can you do that? Yeah. So if you go online, let's go back to Typing out. So yours are already unlocked, though. Mine are locked, yes. but I don't know. I'm which gonna find one, one so you can see what it looks like when you're unlocked. Because they oh, okay. it should take you to a. Uh, let's see, find one that is unlocked. So let's look at this one. It's locked. Uh, when I click it. So that's what I was suggesting on there. Since it's not in here, it doesn't look like it's here. Yeah, but which package is the love under? I can't do them individually, right? You can look at, so on the left, if you look on the left, these are the packages. There's the basic, there's the rife. And then the quantum have different sub packages, right? But you have to purchase the rife separately. Yeah. So yes. So if you if you can get this in uh, in different packages, resident console and there's one, two, three, and four. So you can get those console that have a lot of those frequencies already locked and unlocked for you. Right? Oh, you have and, to purchase the whole. Co you can't. So I just want to be clear. You can't buy the frequencies individually. They have to be in packages. Yeah, you can buy, I, be, I believe they come in individual. So David's, a lot of the inner circle ones, David has to release because I usually can't, I don't see them. He released specials on them and then you can buy them individually in pieces. But I will look online. So right now, what are you looking for particularly are you trying to purchase? Which one? The love, the self-love that you you kept talking about that, he, that Michael, I think, listened to. But I'm, okay. I'm having a hard time finding that. So you remember... Self, when we talk about self love, different love programs, it's a different love ones, yeah, yeah. So, you have to find out which one resonates with you. So, type in the word love. So, right now, they are the right frequency about love, they are one, two, three, four, five, right? But so many other frequencies expresses love. So, this is another love frequency, the nine planets, right? That's another love frequency, it has love elements in it. And then, sometimes the frequency has you can see Venus and different planets, but they have love component, a loving component to them, right? Uh, when it comes to relationship, I know there were some that are specific for relationships, like this one right here, romance, right? And that is one you can purchase as well, uh, specifically. So I will go online and search the frequency. So look for the, so the first thing I would do, if I were you, I will go through the frequency lists, and click on them and see what is in each one. If you want to understand them a little bit more, right? And I tell everybody the the basics is a good start. If you get the basics and you run 
Lock boost, remove negativity, open, okay? Open is critical. Soothe, of course, if you're dealing with emotional pain, physical pain, different things like that. But when you begin to open yourself and expand yourself, you'll begin to understand exactly what you need. And you'll begin to understand it through synchronistic means. So now we'll go into, let's say I want, like you said, love. And I said, mm -hmm. which focus with love? Love, the heart chakra. I might go to you know, chakras. Okay, let's look at the heart chakras. I know Richard was doing some chakras work. And let's go to solar plexus, root chakra, it's like, uh, let's see, crown chakra no. there. And right there. And then click the heart chakras and see if you're able to purchase that. And then run, see all of this is frequency that aligns with the heart chakras, right? And you can but see- he, But again, you, you can't, but you can't purchase the frequencies individually. I know I keep saying that, but you know, they're, they're some of the frequencies to find the one that has specifically love in it, I'm gonna have to buy all of Rife. I, Rife is a little bit different. So Rife, you have to get the package for Rife. They got a basic package for, for Rife. You have to buy them. Or you can buy the subscription. I think David sells a subscription a month. I think it was like, uh, I want to say $60. You can talk to Dave. Uh, go online and look for the subscription. I know a lot of things have shifted when it went online. But before, I know you could do an annual subscription of $99 annually. You have access to all the rights. I don't know if okay. David still has those promotions. Yeah, I don't see those anywhere, actually. I didn't, I didn't see those. Yeah. Do you have Maybe any? I'll, I'll talk to David about that and see if there are any promotions okay. coming out about the right. Okay. Awesome. And then the other and then the other thing, sorry uh, to interrupt, but uh, the, you do have an iPhone app or you still do not? No, we do not. So this is the app to replace the iPhone because so iPhone. You, you just go through a browser. I mean. Yeah. So here's the reason. Uh, there were, I think I shared this with you. I don't know if you remember, but it was testimonial that was being placed. And then all of a sudden, the wrong people, or whoever people, decided they don't want it over there no more because a lot of people were speaking that truth. This cured me. And that's why I try to be very careful that we don't use those words, I'm cured, I'm transformed, I'm shifted. Those different things that no one can really challenge because that's the existence of who we are. So mm -hmm. when we say, I cured cancer or I was cured of cancer, you type that testimony and somebody blasted or somebody's always looking to counter. And someone's counter, they're going to report it. And if they report it, then we have issues with... Uh, the organization and so it is important that those testimonials are they are real to you and they are valid to us however others don't want to care or see it and so those are one of the reasons that we will undermine especially around COVID when we started talking about COVID frequency because there was some frequency in the life that was specifically tailored to mm -hmm. us uh, SARS viruses and different things uh, yeah. educating people is so critical to come out of the ignorance and so a lot of, and a lot of people complaining who are you to say that Frequency can get rid of COVID. You need the vaccine. You're gonna burn in yeah. hell. Yeah, I can see that. And honestly, as long as I can do it through here, that makes that's total. That's totally fine. I just what I what I realized I just where I got stuck is there's three websites. There's okay. keycoil dot keycoil There's keylifestore dot com, and then there's members dot dot com, which is the one that I just logged into today. Yeah. Is able to for, do forgot password and get that and reset my password. So I think that might be where some of the confusion is, is either if they're not the same, you might not be able to get in. And if it's reading that original login, when you hit forgot password, it may not send you to the right person, just like happened with Google when they started doing the Google login and overriding your current password and with email. So just wanted to throw that out there, but no, this is fine. I just really am trying to find that. I just really want to get that one that self-love and hopefully I can you know, feel that self-love like Michael did. So, you know what I might, I, and maybe I can have Richard jump in and see what love and frequency did he focus on. Richard, do you mind sharing what what frequency you're running? So I- Was I it did, the Rife? The planet? No, I didn't do the Rife. I did the planet one. Um, it had, you know, Venus and, uh, and there was another, I think it was Polly, Polly, something numbers okay there was another one that had the love in it and um and then i did the uh the chakra the heart chakra yeah okay but i was intrigued by the the one that said romance rose essence because that was about love of the self yeah so yeah so everything is not always external love everything begins and ends with you internally so yeah. when you love yourself the overflow of that is what you reflect back 
Right. And guys, I can't, I, I keep reinforcing this. Your vibration attracts other people, other vibrations. And that is called the resonance, right? That is the bridge. That's the connection. What you are seeing is you. You are seeing you in all of your glory. The misery, the excitement, the joy, the abundance, all that that you're seeing is you. And you have to accept you. And if you accept you, then you can transform you. It begins and ends with you. So when you see, when someone comes to you and cuss at you, take a deep breath and says, okay, I don't know the story behind that story, but I must need that cuss. <laughs> right? And so I take a deep breath and I reset. Don't cuss them back because every action has an equal and opposite reaction. If you cuss them back out, it needs to come back to you. And it doesn't come to you all at once. So I call this stackable. Sometimes your stackable comes due a year later, six years later. I have been meditating to get my stackables really fast, right? Because I don't want it to stack up. So my stackables come in ways that I don't like it, right? So for example, I might have a thought about somebody in a negative way. You say, oh my God, he gets on my nerve. Oh, okay. And then all of a sudden I will walk into a wall. I know I saw the wall. <laughs> I will walk into the wall, I hit the wall aggressively. But in that moment, the thought comes back of what I said. And so I said, oh, this is the consequences of me causing, because the emotional connection of the hurt and the things that I put out into the atmosphere, even though I didn't say it directly to that person, I'm still putting it out there, there's still consequences for that. So be careful, even in your quiet time, when nobody else is around, your thought has power and that power will come back to you. So don't think I didn't say it to the person, so therefore it doesn't count, it counts. It counts when you are in your silent place, right? Because everything that you have resonates. So that which you are is putting out there will come back to you. So just want to share that with you. So those reflections, let's embrace it. Let's accept us. Let's love us. This is something we need to push. We need to love us hard and aggressively. And we need to remind each other why it's important to love each other. So I wanted to say, Richard, I love you. And I want the best for you and every one of you out there. But before we go, I know we have like, Two other individuals I don't want to leave, Sue and Barbara, and then we will end our session today. And then we will continue next week. Next week, I will bring another chapter. And by, hopefully by then, the book will be out. You guys can go and have all those chapters so we can come back together. We do a chapter two, chapter three. We have 30 chapters, so we have 30 sessions ahead of us to be able to go through and see how we can transform together. Go ahead, Sue. Hello. How you doing? I'm all right, thank you. Um, I do have a couple of questions, please. You seem excited. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, I have my I have my uh console. Um, I think call it number three. I've received literally less than a week ago. Okay. So I'm obviously you know having great fun looking at all the different frequencies and everything like that. Um. So one question, the first one question quickly is following on from the chat that just spoke to you earlier about the purchasing. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking to purchase some extra uh, frequencies. I have the rifle already with, with my console three okay. um, and obviously some others as well, which is great. But how does that, how, when you buy that, how do you literally get that onto your, 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 I say console when you you know you, you you load it up and it's there how do you actually how do you receive that because I'm not like techie and I don't <laughs> even have a computer um okay. I've got an iPad and I've got now my Samsung okay. um tablet um you know from from you so when you per to answer your question when you purchase it that those locks will all lock right and mm -hmm. sometimes it takes 24 48 hours but it's important that if you don't see it unlock and call them, they can all lock in real time. So customer customer service are available to help you unlock it. So if you ever have issues where you purchase frequency and you, you have to log out and then log back in in order to see the frequency has been unlocked. But call contact customer service and say, I purchased these frequency because I had to do the same thing when I purchased the luck the first time, man. And I had to call customer service and say, listen. I got excited about my luck frequency. I don't see it in here. I need somebody to put it in there right now because I, I want to use it, right? And so uh, she was she was amazed. She said, yes, let's see if we can do that. And uh, and other times I've reached out to Boris and he reached out to tech support. Um, just call tech support and they will be able to help you uh, make sure that 
if those are all locked for you. So when you log in, what you have purchased is revealed to you. So it's quite simple then, really. You literally just purchase it and then it will automatically unlock and then it will be there. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Ooh. That's why you saw some lock and some unlock from us. Sure, sure. Um, and one more quick question. I know you probably might cover it in a later um, session, um, but some of the frequencies use the word square and some of the frequencies say sawtooth. So basically, I'd like to know the difference between the two and obviously why or why you would not use them. So to answer that question as more on the technical end, I might have to have David answer this question. So if you want, you can email um, David or you can talk to Boris. Those are the, they are specialized in the technical aspect of why the frequency, because I don't have the back end knowledge of how David and how and why David does certain things. Uh, I just take the frequency, embrace the frequency, leverage the frequency, use the frequency for what I need it for. But and to answer your question, maybe on the next call, I will have David jump in and be able to answer that question if he has not been answered. But please send that question in and then they will forward that question to David uh, directly and hopefully he'll respond to the question. Uh, email me again. You can email me, Josie at Chief. Because I know only Richard email I received. I haven't received anybody else's email. I did check my email. However, if I missed yours, I'm so sorry. Uh, but if you email me to Josie and I'll reach out to to David and they will give me an answer. I will get that answer to you as quickly as possible. All right. And then if not, if you can't reach me fast enough, then just contact tech support. Say I saw square, I saw rectangle, I'm confused. Yeah. Make it and make it simple for me. Yeah. And some say P E M F is that the one as well? Or PMF something. Yeah, so again so the yeah. electromagnetic frequency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So just so, uh, just yeah. So to answer that question, some frequency are the basic right frequency, right? And then there are the quantum frequencies. So the PMF frequencies are well known, you know, basic frequencies that most everybody out there use. However, David has done something a little bit more sacred to his frequency. Uh, so he's elevated his frequency on a three-dimensional level. He can explain that more in depth than I can, but that is a difference that he has done. That's why it sounds different. And if you hear other frequency, you might hear boom. Where is David like ding, 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 just going all over? <laughs> you think what is going on? Right, your head is yes. <laughs> so you got to check with David on that, and he does a phenomenal job creating videos to explain his technology. So maybe go to the Chi Life store, and then I believe they have uh, support, and they have some videos there that you can go to and click on, or you can go to YouTube and just search David Wong Chi Life, and then type in the word that you're looking for. Uh, more than likely, he has a lot of videos out there. He's been doing this for years. So go out there and look to see if he's already put one out there to answer your question. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. Most welcome. Be blessed. <laughs> Barbara? Uh, I think that was Barbara, right? Okay, let's go to the next person. If you want to just jump in. Oh, can you hear me, Josie? I can hear you. Blessings, Angela. How you doing? Oh, hi. Oh, it's Maya. Um, oh, it's Maya. I okay. Yeah, I've been uh trying to get on like on my computer. I cannot get when I go into your calls. I cannot get the chat. The chat's disabled, and I can't raise my hand or anything. Just FYI. Okay, so I'm on my phone now. So okay, so it doesn't work. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. My, my questions. Um, a couple of things. I think part of it is what that other person just asked. Like when it says sawtooth square triangle. Um, do you, did, did you say that, that that is not something that, that I need to ask, that I need to ask Boris about that? Is that what you just said? You can ask Boris. Uh, that is something I have not really delved into. So I don't want to direct you wrong, but I will reach out to Boris. If you have contact with Boris, maybe he can explain it. Boris, Boris is more on a technical aspect of this technology. Okay. Uh, I'll ask him about that. And then on the right where it goes, something one, two, three, four, five, all that that is there any way to know what those are which goes one two three four that like goes like um i can't i don't i don't have it in front of me exactly which ones do that but right. a lot of them do that so is that okay, it does one two three four five yeah it just goes through a lot of numbers and it's like what does that mean oh okay so yeah so on the list uh there are different if you're looking at the right there are multiple different frequencies that uh, that have been put together in order to service you for that particular situation, right? So you might see different hertz, 
right? Uh, I don't know if that's what you're referring to. Mm -hmm. So let's say if you're doing lungs, it might have 20 different hertz of frequencies that aligns with you holistically to, to, to support you. So it goes through all of those frequencies. And so that's why it's shifting uh, frequency, uh, especially when I was just doing um, a microcurrency. That is critical to understand because some of the frequencies are high, some of them are low, but they're all necessary in order to create the holistic uh, support for you. I don't know if that's so how, what you're referring to. How do you know what to, to choose? Do you just put them all in because they're different frequencies? Is that what you're saying? You so punch- it has a playlist already set in the right. Mm-hmm. So you just hit play and leave it alone. You don't don't pick and choose which frequency mm-hmm. out of it because it has been collected over mm-hmm. time. So I would set my recommendation to you. I don't touch the right, right? I create playlists. So if I'm doing lungs and they have six different fre- uh, frequency, I will select all six of them and put that into my playlist. So if it's 10 of them in there, I will select all 10 of them and create the playlist for lungs. I, oh. I put them together. I don't just pick and choose which one to you because all of them have to work together for you. Oh, okay. Real, real quick. I have a client with a diagnosed Lyme secondary Epstein bar. Um, just not having any movement with that. Do you? Can you suggest what that might be? I mean, um, what might cause some advancement in movement with that? So, reach out to me offline. We can maybe have uh, reach out to my email, Josie uh, at she like store and maybe we can brainstorm holistically it is not something i will be comfortable on this line uh, okay so. okay okay so but, uh, again when i'm on my computer i can't get on the chat you do you do you, do you ever enable the chat my my the chat is you know this email you can just email me to regular email address your know, email account uh gmail whatever and just email me and then i'll get in contact just like richard did and i'll get in contact with you and we can, okay. you know, we can put our okay. heads together and brainstorm okay. what I'm going to say on this call. Okay, Josie at a Chi Life store. Steve. Yeah, dot com. Thank you. Because yeah. Richard and I have brainstormed on some other things. So it's always important that we look at all avenues, not just one dimensionally. We look at someone's health. And so I do do my due diligence thoroughly before I make any assumptions and I present the facts for educational purposes and how you choose to empower yourself. And then I'll recommend it. My recommendation would be what I would do for me or my family. Okay, thank you very much. You're most welcome. Are there anyone else? Uh, I think Angela, uh, this last one, and then we are officially done. No, not done. To, to be continued. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Angela? Go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, Josie. Um... Want to know, do you have any frequencies for blood sugar issues? Again, I want to make sure on this call, I don't directly say yes or no. I said, go through the frequency and look at, type in the words. Uh You can reach out to me uh, directly offline, and then we can scan together. But to answer your question, there are frequency, right frequency that have target those distortions. Right? Remember again, if anything, and I, and I like, and I, I want to say this in closing, it doesn't matter what you have or what is happening, right? There is a counter to it. For every action, it's an equal and opposite reaction. Mm. These frequency allows you to align with it. That's it. And so you might run a frequency, right? I've, I, this has happened to me and it's happened to many people. You might run a frequency and then come across a food that somebody three o'clock in the morning share with you. That fixes the problem. Or you might run the frequency and then all of a sudden you just based on your intention of the frequency. You gotta remember your intention. You go into it believing I'm sick, the frequency will give you I'm sick. But if you go into it and say I am well and I've overcome this issue, this this distortion of blood sugar elevation and whatever else in my body, then the frequency will synchronize you and then it will bring people, places, and things. Right? And I, I personally, that happens to me a lot. And that's why I always keep myself open to learning and always learning because I'm always ignorant to everything. So, yes, this technology does give you the opportunity to overcome those distortions by aligning you with what is best for you. And then through synchronicity, whether the frequency does it directly by you know, changing your resonance and changing your vibration, um, which ultimately change the information within the body and say that no longer serves you. Two, actually based on your belief system. Because I, I know some people only like to pop pills. I can run the frequency all day. I don't believe in the frequency. 
but the moment I give them a pill, they pop the pill, I feel better. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> and so we call it the placebo effect. Right? My mother's one of those persons. She's been taking pills her whole life. And so mm -hmm. if I give her a pill or a cream, I don't care what you talk about frequency. She said, go from here, man. I don't want to hear all that. That sounds kind of like voodoo. You know? <laughs> so, and, and But she said she feels good, right? And she feels good. But I, sometimes I'll give her just a regular cream with aloe vera and some other things in it. And all of a sudden, I feel great. Yeah, okay, the cream did it. It was actually the frequency that was able to align her with her distortion that she was dealing with. I don't know if I answered your question, but if you reach out online, reach out to the team, you know, reach out to Boris, David, and let them be able to direct you. Uh, there are several frequencies. Go online and search those frequencies or write and different things and see that. It's been researched, it's been studied, there's been thousands and thousands upon thousands of people that speak highly about how these frequencies have overcome those specific issues, All right? So look for those, uh, those, those testimonials and let it inspire you, but yes, to answer your question, is because you have the capacity to transform in a constructive way, but it begins at answer you. Hey, great. Yeah, appreciate that. Thank you. Because, yeah. you know, and I want to say this uh, doctors out there are doing a phenomenal job. You know, uh, I know doctors out there, and not all of them, but there are doctors out there that are sincere about looking at a holistic approach to helping people. But there are also people out there that's all about the mighty dollar. Right? And so you have to do your due diligence. You have this is your life, this is your health. Take responsibility, take accountability, and inspire and empower yourself, and then move to the next level. Right? I love each and every one of you. We're here. Thank you guys for the co-creation. Let's continue to love and share and acknowledge one another. And so Richard and I will more likely be back. Let's see by next week. Hopefully, we have more testimonials for Richard. And then anybody. Let me just say one thing me? before we leave. Run the. You ought to be running the luck frequency. Everybody should be running the luck frequency. I think. Because, okay. yeah, it's paid dividends for me already, okay? Okay. And, and I only just started running it. So I think, yeah, that should be running all the time. <laughs> yeah. So you see the man smiling. So there's no contagorism there, right? I know for a fact that he doesn't look a, 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 any type of contagorism. So he's a beautiful human being. He's a loving human being. And so those subjective definition does not define him even when it comes from within him. So, again, all of you guys are beautiful, amazing human beings strive to love love those that don't love you love those that are you perceive to be your enemy they are not your enemy they are product of the environment just mm -hmm. put it out love and then let this technology support your loving right you guys be blessed you guys be amazing and if there's no other questions or if you have any question email me if not i'll make sure i get your questions next week love you guys you guys have a wonderful rest of your week you'll be blessed